Hey, welcome back folks. Got a fun one for you today. Gonna try a new tool that I have never used before and I have been racking my brain to try to find a good application for it. I think I finally found one or several. We're gonna play around, experiment, see how this pulverizer here does on the 1025R. Gonna tell you more about it right now too. But first, a couple channel updates. Well, these are more like business updates, but you wanna know about them. You're gonna save some money. We have a new rewards program now. So right now, at least, this could change with time, but you're gonna save 5% on future orders. So if you spend $1,000 on our site right now buying an attachment, you're gonna get $50 in rewards that you can use towards a future order. So that's a big deal right there. Now we also have the biggest sale that we've ever done. We have 10% off of all of our attachments right now. You gotta enter code GWT SPRING10 to get your savings. You're gonna get that 10% plus the bonus five and rewards points for that future order. So 15% overall you're saving. That's a big deal. Also, we are now selling merchandise on our website. You'll see a link right up top called merchandise. So it'll take you to an external site where you can buy whatever you want. They're gonna make it and ship it right to you. We are not making any money on merchandise. We're gonna donate all the profits and proceeds. So check that out too. And just off camera behind us over there, you can see a deer out in the food plot. So they are working right now. It's not deer season, but we hope to see the same thing come fall. We are now a Northwoods Whitetails dealer. We're gonna get all set up on our website with pricing for that too. But if you're local to the Kalamazoo area, you wanna stop by, pick up some seed, well now you can. Alrighty folks, so back to the pulverizer again. I don't know a whole lot about them. I have sold a few of them already. They aren't a new attachment. They've been around. A lot of folks use them. You can find videos on YouTube as well. These are gonna often be used for landscaping purposes. So if you wanna rough up, smooth out, kind of prep for seed, um, prep for just leveling purposes, whatever you wanna do. That's what a pulverizer's made to do. Now, Dirt Dog is made in America, right down in Georgia. And so this little guy right here, the smallest one they make is 450 pounds. So it's about four foot wide, gonna cover the width of the 1025 and other subcompacts as well. You may be able to see back there, we have a little bit larger version. They make all sorts of versions. You can get a single or a double roller on there. You can get shanks like what you see here, or you can get spikes as well. They are gonna be replaceable and reversible. Now you can see a couple of springs on here that allows the roller to have some uh, some give and flexibility. It's gonna go up and down with the contour. You know, it looks like you can adjust that for more or less tension as needed, but a very robust uh, eight frame essentially an I-beam there that's just laid on its side. You're also gonna have a fully welded A-frame. You can see it is quick hitch compatible for category one. You're gonna have greasable zerks on both sides of the roller. Really, it's, it's fairly simple. So I think we just have to try it out, play with it, see how it works for us. I don't know if this could, well, I don't know. We're gonna find out. We're gonna try this in all sorts of applications. We have some dist area, some sod area, dirt, compacted, rutted up, all sorts of stuff. So let's get to it.
As always, we're sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. They are made in America, have a lifetime warranty. If your tractor feels tippy side to side, especially if you have a cab on it, then adding a set of wheel spacers can make a big difference. Get more information on them at the link down below. Folks, well, there you have it. I think some pretty good results overall. It excelled in certain areas, not in others. This was where we're standing, the hard pan that we did. Um, relatively smooth, no sod on there. It's, a, it's kind of a lane. We used to have all sorts of tractor attachments up and down here. So it's just kind of up and down, up and down all the time. Worked fantastic for that. It picks up a lot of debris, sticks and sod and uh, sometimes stones. There's a few times throughout where something bound up in the drum and it didn't want to allow it to roll and spin. Um, of course, those are the times when I wasn't turning around over my shoulder and looking, so it lasted for a little while. But besides that little kind of a hiccup, it worked really well. So then we moved on and did some really ruddy areas, kind of along the side of the drive. And again, when it was wet, you know, in the winter time, fall, early spring, you know, skid steers, big tractors were, we weren't using this gravel lane like a regular gravel lane we were crossing over it this way and that way so everything was really rutted up bad it was very very ruddy along that lane it may be hard to see on camera but you can see the tractor rocking and rolling in there and 
you know, the first couple passes really rough, and then you can see the final couple passes, how it really smoothed that out. The last area we did was actually an area that we had disked up, and so that was all sod like the rest of the field that's out here. We used a disc, went over it several times, which didn't work all that great. So I wanted to see how this would do in that kind of application, and it really collected a lot of smaller chunks of sod, uh, a lot of debris. So if you're gonna be in that kind of a situation, maybe you're redoing your yard, um, you know, I would probably, well, I would almost till that up a whole bunch of times, and then this would be a really good finish tool after that. So till it up a lot or disc it up a lot more than what I had over here. That way those side chunks are a lot smaller pieces because um, I wanted to carry a lot of that along. And that wasn't detrimental in and of itself, but it would be nice to leave maybe some more of that organic matter um, where you want to plant grass in the future. So I can see this kind of a tool being really handy for a contractor, you know, in residential construction um, or a landscaper, or if you have a big project to do at your house, you know, if you want to put in a, a soccer field or something else, just redo the whole backyard. This is going to do a really good job at leveling out everything. It's pretty easy to use. You just drive forward. You have to adjust the top link um, to get it just to the right pitch there. But overall, it's, it's pretty painless to use. And once you get that initial roughness out of it, it's pretty comfortable too. So again, there is a double roller version of this as well. If you've used one of those with a double roller, let me know what you think, single versus double. You know, I suppose it probably levels it out, smooths it out a little bit more. It's gonna weigh more, it's gonna cost more too. But no matter what you decide, we'd be happy to help you out. We sell and ship all across the country. You gotta check out goodworkstractors.com. And if you enjoy tractor videos or looking for new ideas or things to do with your tractor, different projects, different tools, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.